short and sweet. I have three spheres in the scene, the yellow, the blue and the red sphere and I want the blue one to rotate around the yellow one and at the same time I want the red one to rotate around the blue one. This is easy to do and the key to this is the group. When I rotate the blue sphere it rotates around its own axis but when I create a group from that sphere by pressing Control G, G for group, the group center is in the center of the scene and I can rotate this and it rotates around the yellow sphere because the yellow sphere is at the center of the scene. And I animate the blue group by typing in an expression, this is easier than keyframes in this case, equals two times frame. Why two times? Well, I want it to rotate a little bit faster than with just typing in equals frame. It does exactly what I want it to do. Now we want the red one to rotate around the blue sphere. Let's do the same thing as before. We select it, it rotates around its own axis and we control G, create a group, which jumps to the center of the scene. Now the red one could be rotating around the yellow one, but we want it to rotate around the blue one. That's why we move the pivot, as it's called, by pressing insert, the insert key, and moving the pivot of that group, of the group of the red one, into the blue sphere. and press insert again and now the red one rotates around the blue planet. 20 times frame. It stays in the same place, the place where it's, it was generated. And it doesn't rotate around the blue one. We can easily fix this. We have the red group and we have the blue group and we want the red one to be a child of the blue group. That's why we middle mouse drag it into the blue group. This sphere has to follow the blue motion and it has its own independent motion as well. Bye bye.